Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to install WAMP Server on your Windows computer so that you can get Magento up and running on your local machine. In fact, you can use the same video to get WAMP Server set up to install other web applications like WordPress or Drupal or any of that stuff that would be typically running on a Apache uh, based um, server. So come and check this out. We're going to go to um, WAMPServer.com and then that's slash en. Uh, the slash en is to get the English version of the site. And uh, it looks like this. If you're here, you're in the right place. And we could click download right here, or we could click start using WAMP server. Either way, it's going to take us to this download section. Now, you're going to want to grab whichever version is right for your computer, um, with these top two being the recent version of WAMP at the time of this video. Um, and we just have the 32-bit and 64-bit. Since I have a 32-bit, I'm gonna click this one. Um, if you don't know, you should uh, find out. You can check that in your system uh, settings or something in your system information, I believe. And now in here, it's gonna tell you need to download some things. It's giving you some warnings or whatever. If you have WAMP uh, 5 or something like that, if you don't, I mean, if you have that, you probably already know about this, so uh, don't worry about it. If you don't have, if you don't know about it, then you probably don't have it. You don't need to worry about it. Now we need to uh, first download this service pack, which is this Visual C++ 2010 service pack. Again, get the top one for 32, bottom for 64. I have a 32 bit. I'm going to grab the top one, and then after that, you're going to go ahead and click this download it directly button here, and this is going to take you to the SourceForge page where you can download. Uh, your WAMP application, your WAMP server, and now that once this downloads, it's just going to, you know, uh, uh, we'll have to just run this EXE. So after this is done downloading, go ahead and uh, click on this EXE to run it and install WAMP. And uh, once that's done, I will show you exactly what we do next. Okay, so we have WAMP downloaded and installed, and you'll notice that it's running right now. And it's running, and we have this logo down here. It's this green W. That means our servers are online. If your server, if this little icon is orange or red, you need to take your servers online. So you can go ahead and click this and do Start All Services. Um, likewise, we can click Stop All Services to turn it off or restart all services if we need to restart them. Now, if you're getting hung up and this is being stuck in orange, um, chances are maybe something's using your uh, port 80. I know people have mentioned that Skype is a problem with port 80. So you can actually come here and click on this, go to Apache, um, and then go to service, and then test port 80. Now, it's going to tell you what's running on port 80. Now, this is telling me Apache is running on, and it's, of course it is because our WAMP server is green. But if yours is orange, it might have something else that's running here. And because I can't be sure of what anybody else's system's like, I can't necessarily tell you what kind of problems you'll have. So if you have something running on port 80 here, uh, go ahead and Google it, and I'm most definitely positive there will be people telling you how to get that to stop running on port 80 so you can free that up for your WAMP server. Okay, so let's close out of that. We have our WAMP, it's green, it's running. And so what do we have here? We have, uh, basically we have MySQL, we have PHP and Apache, right? And you can stop any of these services or restart them just by going to their folders here and clicking stop service, restart service. Um, and that's pretty darn awesome. We also have, uh, if we go to localhost here, this is a quick link to just your localhost page, which is gonna tell you a little bit about your configuration. It's going to tell you what extensions are being loaded, and you can go directly to uh, PHP info here to see your uh, server information, your PHP information. And if we come back, we can also go to PHP MyAdmin from here. You can also get the PHP MyAdmin from clicking on the W and then clicking on PHP MyAdmin. Now, with PHP MyAdmin in WAMP, your root uh, username is root and your password is blank. So if we click go here, it's going to just allow us to log in. So now we have access to PHP MyAdmin, our server is running, and we should be all set up. So in the next video, we're going to download Magento, we're going to set up our server space, and we're going to get it all installed so that we have Magento set up on a Windows computer. 
So as always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment uh, on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.